Welcome to Cocktails on Cloud9. I'm Rachel and today I'll be talking to George about how to make a Japanese sipper. Hi George, how are you today? Good, thank you Rachel. That's good. Now, I heard the Japanese sipper was originated in Australia, is that right? Yes, that's right. It was actually invented by a bartender called John Paul Bognon in 1984 at Mieta's restaurant in Melbourne. Yeah. And he used it as a entry in the Suntory Cup, which is a very prestige cocktail competition here in Australia. He took it out and won it that year and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great drink ever since. Okay, great. Um, do you want to show us how it's made? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So the first thing we're going to do is ice, ice our glass. Plenty of ice in there. Now it's a very simple drink, only three ingredients really, plus the garnish. First thing will be 30 mils of Maduro. Maduri is a Japanese melon flavoured liqueur. Second up, 30 mils of Cointreau. Now, I've noticed you're using two liqueurs there. Now, why, wouldn't that make it a little bit sweet? Really good question there, Rachel. Um, yes, normally we don't uh, mix two liqueurs together, especially as the main uh, alcohol ingredients in the drink, but uh, what John Paul did is he actually added lemon juice to it. And I believe this is probably one of the, the really great uh, examples of a sour drink and how well um, the sour element can be added to the sweet and, and perfectly balance it out. I'm going to do 30 mils of fresh lemon juice. I don't like to use lemon squeeze that comes in the bottle. Fresh ingredients are always the best. And I like to stick to the original recipe There. Plenty of ice. Don't let the drink down, let it chill it down. Double strained. And the garnish is a maraschino cherry. Thank you, George. And there you go, Rachel. Hope you enjoy it. That's a Japanese slipper. Thank you. I'll taste it. Taste it. That's beautiful. Thank you. And that's all for um, Cocktails on Cloud9. We'll see you next time. Thank you.